Greetings. So I want to encourage you to learn to act as if it is already yours. Whatsoever you desire in this world, all you need to do is believe enough that will enable you to act as if it's already yours. Which means you are acting as if you have already accomplished your goal and your dream. Therefore, you should no longer have this wanting desire to have that which you already have. So you have to live from the end. You see, the end is where you begin. And where you begin is at the end. Which means that everything is already completed. Everything is finished. All you have to understand is that the very moment you start to have the feeling that your dream is already accomplished, that's the moment that it is done. You have already set it in motion. And you just have to understand the law of gestation and wait for it. You see, the same principle is what is taking place in the agricultural realm where the farmer will go out to sow seed in the field. And the reason for that it is because he is believing for a harvest and he is believing that he have already have that harvest. So when he plants that seed, he doesn't go back every day or every other day to dig up back the seed to see if it is growing. No, he knows that the germination process will take place and all he needs to do is to trust the process. Okay, it's the same thing with your mind. When you have a thought, when you have a desire, and you understand that a thought is actually an energetic frequency, and you vibrate on that frequency daily by thinking about it repetitively you do that for a certain time and then you leave it alone you leave it to germinate you leave it to grow you see everything is connected and you have to understand your physical self is connected to your psychological and spiritual self. So you are a multidimensional being. Therefore, you have to live life from every angle. You see, most people live their life on one level, which is just the physical level only. And when you live on that level, that is you living at the level of the animals. You live in at the level of the five senses. Just where you can see, taste, touch, and smell. But the thing is that the only thing that you have that a pig don't have, or a dog don't have, is actually mind and speech. Therefore, when you understand how the mind works, and you realize that thoughts become things, then you will know that we would definitely become what we think about most of the time. Therefore, you spend most of your time focusing on the things that you want to see manifest in your life. And that is why you have to learn to live as if it is already a hardened objective fact. To do that means that you cannot live in doubt, or fear, or guilt, uh, shame you see faith is consistency and faith without any understanding is dead that's why many people will quote faith without works is dead but when you look at the works 
that they are producing, you'd realize that they do not have a firm understanding of faith. You see, you can have faith in an entity outside of yourself, while at the same time you do not have faith in yourself. Because everything begins with self. So there's no one to blame and there's no one to change but self. You see, every thing that you will ever experience in this life, it would produce a certain feeling. Therefore, if a physical fact can create a psychological state or feeling, then it means that a psychological state can create a physical fact. That is why when you get into a psychological state, of feeling and believing that your wish is already a hard and objective fact, you have to keep living in that feeling. And once you keep living in that feeling, it is because it's going to become your reality. Because you are vibrating on a certain level of frequency. And remember, as I said earlier, you are actually a mass of energy. And you vibrate on frequency. So, my brother and my sisters, always remember that whatsoever you desire in this world, never think in terms of not having it. Never think in terms of lack. Never think in terms of limitation. Know that all things exist within you. And all you need to do is to vibrate to that frequency to attract it into your reality. That is why the best way to do so is to live from the state of your wish already a hard and objective fact. Once you do that, nothing can stop you from being who you want to be in this world. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me and what I'm saying, if it really makes sense, if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And I would also encourage you to get my latest book, which is called The Secret Vagina Mystery of the Virgin Birth. It's where I'm teaching you that you can bring forth your brainchild into this world. Without the instrumentality of a man. You see, most people read the Jesus and Mary story and they interpret it on one level only, which is on just the physical level. But you are physical, you are psychological, and you are spiritual. Therefore, you have to understand the Bible on all three levels. That's why it's important for you to understand the Bible metaphysically, esoterically, and psychologically. Because you will know that it has to do with the human psyche. Everything in the Bible, from the beginning to the end, it all has to do with the human psyche. So I'll definitely encourage you to get that book plus spiritual recipe for better living and all my other books like Meditate to Eradicate Poverty or to Turn Water into Wine, Your Mood is Your Fortune, also the 66 books of Magic, the Overcomers Bible, which Jesus have been omitted and there's a blank space for you to write your name, which is I Am. Do you know that your name is I Am and that everyone else have that same name, I Am? And you can never say, I am, and not referring to yourself. And that's the name of God from generation to generation. If you would accept that fact, then you will know that whenever you say, I am, you must never say anything that is negative, but all be positive and optimistic. Okay, so I'll definitely encourage you to get those books. They're all available on Amazon Plus, my journals. Also, if you would like to become a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. And I have a course there for people who are donating 20 or more dollars. It's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course on self-concept. Self-concept is very, very important. And when you understand that the sun, as in the SU, and it parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun, then you would realize that without the sun, there's no life and there's no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. Therefore, when you read St. John 1 and 3, 
you will know that it is a personification that represents the human imagination. For God and man are one, and that God in man is man's imagination. That's why even the Bible says that the Lord of God is a sun and a shield, and no good thing which he withhold from you. Have you ever seen the sun and withhold any good thing from humanity? For the sun is what powers all of humanity and give all of humanity its energy. Therefore, if you would believe in the infinite light that is within you, therefore you'll be able to let your light so shine for the world to see because you'll definitely tap into your ability and your creativity and you'll use your power. That power that you can use to achieve your every desire, you'll use it for the upliftment of yourself and also for the upliftment of all of humanity. So, my last encouragement to you is to make sure that you check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So, that being said, I just want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.